Hey everyone, Tara here. So I'm here to set up my functional planning system for the month of October. Uh, so my name is Sarah and I am a project manager. I focus on lean initiatives um, and that's what I do for work. So I use a lot of those tools and I incorporate them into my planning style. So if you guys like that kind of thing, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, I'm getting right into it. So this is my Hobonichi cousin and this is like the end all be all. Well, I don't want to say that because the whole system is really like the end all be all to my whole system. <laughs> so that was stupid. Um, but anyway, so my Hobonichi cousin is all about like deadlines and like what I have to do to get things done. Um, yeah, it just is like my brain basically. And so, yeah, I'm focusing on for the month of October the theme of work. So if you guys don't know, over on my Patreon, we have a, a CI project that we do um, and we have different themes and we I, we talk about tools to help you get there. And yeah, so if you guys are interested in that, check out my Patreon, which the link is in the description. But the theme for October is work. And it's not like work like what I do for a living, it is like I'm putting in the work to get to my, as close as I can to my goals that I set in 2021 at the beginning. So what is the work I have to do to get as close as I can to achieving them or making progress towards them really? So um, that's what the theme is all about. And I am actually have built out a 90 day plan, which is over on my Patreon. So patrons, it's come soon. Um, and my CI project is very detailed for the month of October, which it will be for November, and December as well, because it's a 90 day plan. So my CI project is all about um, that kind of stuff, and I'm following my 90-day plan that I put together. So, um, and I have two parts that I'm focusing on. So you guys seen my project timeline video. So that is one of the things that I am focusing on, and I'm also focusing on some health. So. Um, those are some of the things that I need to focus on, some of the KPIs, if you will, that I need to be very intentional about. So I'm changing up the planning style in my daily pages a little bit this month. Um, so you'll see a change there. My plan the grind is just my, you know, Patreon, Patreon and my YouTube schedule. And I'm not really planning to launch any products in October. I may, but I'm thinking that might take, you know, focus on some other things for October. And that is my project timeline. So I'm putting in a sticker of my launch date. So it's actually on Thursday, but there was a sticker there. Um, <laughs> so that's really what my work like milestones are. And those are in my sidebar, like what I'm focusing on for the month. And I'm really driving to deliver a project that um, I proposed at work. So that is my work goal. And then my family goal is like, we're just kind of like doing our thing. We're all, you know, doing our thing, working and going to school and, you know, trying to do things. <laughs> so um, family is just really kind of doing the due diligence and I'm pretty content right now. We're all in a good spot. So knock on wood, thank goodness. Um, so yeah, nothing big there. So I'm also putting in my work cadence. So check out my work cadence video. And it's all about like how the month goes at work in my organization. And a lot of organizations kind of work towards that same cadence. So the second week of October is probably like the report out week. I am actually thinking it's going to get pushed because the first day of the month is on a Friday. So the month end roll up, it will probably take the beginning of next week. I'm thinking it's all going to get moved a little bit. So but I'll be prepared for the end of the week. So, you know, I'm prepared. If it moves out further, then fine. I'm putting in my calendars, my weekend plans. So I go up north every other weekend, but I'm actually going away this week. I mean, this month with my sister for her birthday. So I'm excited about that. Wow, actually, that's really a busy week. I'm just realizing I'm actually traveling for work at the beginning of the week and then at the end of the week. Oh, Lordy. Um, well, geesh. 
well, it is what it is. So I just will be all over the place, apparently. Um, but the boys are with their dad, so, you know, no big, like, you know, kind of thing there. And yeah, so at the bottom, I'm putting in some trackers for my starting points for my, um, my 90 day plan. So that's what that is. Then I got my old tip in Mondays are just mini new years. And I just freaking, I love me a good new year. So I am putting that as Mondays are my new mini new year. So that's such a good perspective to have. And I'm just putting that in with some washi tape and scotch tape. So nothing fancy, but it's kind of the thing I do. And I just like that dashboard. So I stick it in there. Uh, those are available in my shop. Actually, those aren't yet. So by the time you watch this, what else is going on for the month of October? Then I'm actually going to, I have a lot of different trackers this month because I'm really focusing on my 90 day plan. So it's got to get done. Like I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Um, so my habit trackers, these are currently available in my shop and my trackers are all about like some of the basic, the, the stuff that I always track, which is like my sleep, getting to inbox zero. Um, and then I, I track if I cough at night, um, <laughs> and then, uh, like steps and journaling, that kind of thing. So, and then I have some other habits that I'm tracking based on my 90 day plan. So those are in there and I'm really loving like my whole 6 a.m. journaling session and logging all the things. It's one of the routines that I built this year and I just, I really do love it. So a little bit of a housekeeping note is, so the rest of the year, I'm going to change it up a bit. So if you don't know, I'm going to do my work, like my functional work planning videos on Saturdays. So those are going to replace the plan with me's. And then I'm going to post the plan with me's on Monday nights, but I'm changing up my Monday nights. So I mean, my videos, I want to do a reflection on the previous week so y'all can see how well or bad I'm doing towards my 90-day plan. So I thought it would be a little bit fun to kind of change up the plan with me, which will be like a walkthrough of how I did, how the the week turned out for me and my planner, which is like the whole like after the pen thing. So I think that would be kind of cool to to see the results of the week. Um after, overall. So I thought that would be fun. So that's going to be a little bit of a difference for next, for the like rest of the year. And then I will also, I'm going to try, I'm trying to get more active on Instagram, but I'm so bad at Instagram. I really, I am so sorry if I have like not actually like retagged and shared stuff like I'm supposed to. I'm just so bad at it. But anyway, so I was thinking maybe I can do like my daily setup every now and then in like a story or something. So I'm going to try to do that. I seem to be getting into a good groove in the morning. So I think I can kind of do that now. Um, so this is my work bullet journal. So this is like my other half. Uh, this is all like how I keep my notes, my next actions, my waiting ons, those kind of things. And I'm doing just a quick spread this month. So work calendar. And this is really just kind of the cadence of the month. And I'm putting in some notes about the month. So just some quick like boxes, basically. There's not anything fancy with this, but I'm just using a mild liner to get them done. And I'm really just focusing on like my expenses because I want to be a good expense reporter person because I'm terrible at it. So I'm trying to get better at <laughs> filling out my expense forms. I'm that person that is always chased. I know, it's bad. So I'm just going to put into this spread just really quick, notes, expenses, issues, deadlines, highlights. So this month I actually wanted to start giving report outs because uh, this is my second wave, I think, of these report outs. So, um, yeah, so like my second wave. So I want to try to put some very, like a quick update just, you know, say like, hi, Sarah, I'm still here, you know, because <laughs> it's been a little weird because of not being able to travel. So I actually want to report out some updates 
this month and it will be my first report out. So I'm excited about that. And so I'm putting those kind of highlights. I'll, I'll do that and then issues. And then my other one is just a quick next actions waiting on and follow up on my second page. And those are where I kind of migrate all my next actions that happen throughout the week. And I kind of throw it in there to have like one place for all the things. And my notes that I'm putting in are just some key things that I need to remember. So like my travel dates to Georgia. Um, I have all my lean touch bases scheduled for the week of the 4th. I'm launching a project this month, a new like kind of program. And then I I have to set some official 2021 goals. So that's all stuff that I have to get into the system. I need to get done. I need to focus on. So those are like big focus areas for me for October for work. So I'm just putting it in there. It was kind of in my head when I was setting this up, so I just wanted to capture it. And what else? So I think that's really it. So here's the month of October, my Hobonichi, and then my functional work bullet journal, if you will. It's not super pretty, but it's functional, if nothing else. So thanks for watching, everyone. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing and have a great week. Bye.